Brookie Licious at the line for South Delaware. Madam Jade up there as well. Brookie Licious throwing some hits into the other jammer. Choosing to play defense right off the line. High pots of skaters in the middle. No room being given to either jammer. Brookie Licious trying to excel and get forward, but great defense for both teams. I see a cut track being called, number 22, and a call for the cut track. That is Cindy Boo Boo. Means that she left the track, went outside the lines, came back and improved her position. That is illegal. Rudy Licious did get lead to her and stood straight up there by 620 Otter Chaos. Quickly back up and re-engaged. Now scoring points is Rudy Licious for Southern Delaware. That river seat defense looking very stingy there, grinding things down. A little help coming up by Wooly Girl trying to play offense. Once again, that strong duo there of 29, one sided, and 620 Otter Chaos doing a job there on Rookie Licious. Oh, Prince Popper with a strong shoulder thrown into a blocker center to the outside. That looks like upstate Tan re entering the track after passing some skaters. Got a cut track as well. Rudy Liss is knocked off to the inside there by number 22, Cindy Boo Boo, who's returned from the belly box. Cindy Boo Boo up there giving a visit. Rudy Liss is able to finally outlast the pick up five points. Bringing Southern Delaware scored at 10 to nothing early in this game. Rudy Liss is a little friendly fire running right into Primit Popper. Taking the star off is 12-29. Once again, that is Madam J who did get three. Long sighted, last line of The first eight fabrication coming box is empty to start the jam. Oh, find a hole on the inside and pumping the legs, getting free is Ben E. Clocker. Big hit there by number 10, whipping Angel. But it looks like that was the direction of play ball getting it sent off to the penalty box. Betty, Locker get through for a quick pass. Looks like we have a cut track being called. That's what he said. Primit Popper to the penalty box. Betty, Locker though, making another round, getting another scoring pass. Nice job there by American got to get free from the pack now. Coming back around. Uh, against Vincenia. 60 Boo Boo steps right front to Vincenia and Lucille closes the door on the inside. First lead jammer status going to River City. Cindy Boo Boo. Pump in the skates, picking up the speed, coming around the front stretch. Oh, carries a fast pass there, carrying all that speed in, now pumping legs one more time. The Senny finally able to get free from the pack. Cindy Boo Boo jumps into the pack. Darts to the inside, gets free. River City looking like he things going here, looking for another scoring pass. The Senny free from the pack, picks up four points. Gourley Girl doing some work in the back, actually trips up her own jammer, Visenya. Lucille with a knockout to the outside. Cindy Boo Boo has to go back behind Skater Doctor out. Oh, great job there by Otter. Chaos dropping Gourley Girl to the floor. Able to spring free the jammer there. Cindy Boo Boo picking up another scoring pass. That's 12 points on the board already in this jam for Cindy Boo Boo. Boo Boo jumps right into the pack, trying to get into them arms of the blockers from Southern Delaware. Boo the girl calling the skaters in the back. Cut track is the call there on Visenya. Now Power Jam going to River City. Oh, reset. And then getting another run at it. Cindy Boo Boo knocked to the inside there by Boo Up into the middle of the pack, trying to get some help from our blocker friends. 
a dunk to the outside through Elicious now going back with her lead girl. It has got a reset, take another run at it. A great offensive blocking there by number 13, American Bob, the game to seal off the two blockers. Riding down this defense, Ruti Licious work on the outside. Once again, that was Gourley Girl as well. Finding a hole on the inside, getting lead jammer status from the Rue City. Visenya is back on the track after serving that penalty. So now we're set up up front. Oh, big hit there, dropping the jammer. That's number 13 for Tisha Adams. Senya resets, jumps in front of the pack. That's four points there picked up by Visenya since getting released from the penalty box. St. Tan still trying to fight on the back of that pack. Otter Creek up there trying to play some offense. Oh, big shoulder throw there by Shred Zeppelin sending St. Tan to the inside. Very brutal jam. Got a lot of physicality now getting knocked down one more time. St. Tan's got to reset to the back. The Senya has been released from the penalty box trying to work on that defense, but River City not giving up much room at all. Two to 18, Southern Delaware in the lead. And for the first time, we got Carter Chisada, 455, taking on Betty Clocker. Betty Clocker just taking a toast off and getting a running start. Carter Chisada runs into Prim and Popper. Prim and Popper working well there in the front. Looks like that was working with Hello Killy getting a knockout in the reset. That's your penalty was, but it looks like they have number 13 sitting down in the penalty box. That's American Gothic. So when you down a blocker is River City. Five points now picked up by Betty Clocker. Offensive help coming from blockers from River City. Meanwhile, oh, taking out two blockers there in the front. I believe that was 22, City Boohoo. Oh, there, big hit on the outside, setting Benny Clocker down, but Benny Clocker quickly back up. Cut track is the call of Benny Clocker. Now we're going to have a power jam flipping over to River City. Oh, getting knocked to the inside. A little push there coming from City Boo Boo. Four up call there on Privet Popper. Leading blockers and skaters is Southern Delaware. Back block is a call. So it looks like we're going to lose a blocker there. That's number 13, American Gothic. Mark Sada not giving up, getting knocked out one more time, recycling back to the back of the pack. Whipping Angel able to throw a hit into Clark Sada. Back release for the penalty box is Benny Clocker. And meanwhile, slides through the inside. Clark decided to get free from the pack. Oh, Whipping Angel knocked up to the inside there. Blonde sighted. Force Whipping Angel back and then getting the recycle. Whipping Angel showing the power, pushing forward, driving the pack. Oh, big hit, one sighted. Blonde sighted, doing everything to get to stay in front. Whipping Angel able to keep at it. I see the jam reporting to the penalty box for River City. I missed what the penalty was, but I'm going to sit down. Power jam going to Southern Delaware. Out in front, Otter Chaos. Blonde sided doing a good job playing defense. Now dragging back. Whipping Angel. Four is the call there on Otter Chaos. Whipping Angel pushing through, only two blockers left. Failure to reform being called there on number 13, American Gothic. Also have 
Whirling Pearl going to the penalty box. Only two lockers remain out there for River City. 